Hey guys, so this is going to be my rolling project five pan update. Um, what I do is I have five products that I'm always panning um, and I try to update you about monthly. I have finished two goals of mine, so I am ready to add two new things in. So I thought it would be a perfect time for an update. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the things that I you know, achieved my goals with and then I'll talk to you about the new things I'm putting in and the things that are still in the project and all of that. So I finished up the NYX Matte Finish Spray. This is a face setting spray you can find at um, Ulta or the drugstore. I really like it. It's not necessarily mattifying, but it doesn't make you look dewy. I use this, um, so I do like my foundation, concealer, if I'm going to wear cream blush, just anything cream products on my face I put on. I spray this on, um, and I let them kind of like all mesh together, and then I powder my face, and I've just noticed that my makeup lasts a lot longer. I really like this product for it. Um, I prefer other things for like my final setting spray, but I think this is a really nice one for the way I use it. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it, but I'm done with it finally. I started this one in May. It was originally 45 grams when I put it into this project, and now it's 17 grams. So I used up a ton of product, which is awesome, and it's now empty, so that is leaving me. Um, and then the second thing that I hit my goal on, um, this is the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This came out in the spring. I'm pretty sure it was limited edition. And I wanted to hit pan on this. So this can't, I put, what? I put this in my project on June 22nd and it weighed 43 grams and now it weighs 42 grams. So I did go down a gram and I did hit pan. It started to kind of crumble a little bit because I've really been concentrating on one spot. Um, but there is a little bit of pan in there. I do have it on my eyes today as eyeshadow. Um, I like it that way. I also have it on my cheeks as a highlighter. I think it's a really nice product. Um, I know once I get more fair, this won't match me anymore. So that's kind of why I wanted to use it over the summer. It's definitely more of like a golden kind of a highlight. So yeah, it was really nice. I'm really happy I got some use out of it. I used up a whole gram and I hit pan, so I'm really happy about that. Um, so those are the two that I finished and are going to be out of this project now. So one is empty and this one I just hit pan on. So these are done. Um, and I am adding in two new things to take your place. The, so the first one is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This one I am using as my final setting spray right now. Um, I only ever really use this one in the summer months because my skin does get a little bit more oily and this does help me. But normally I use the Urban Decay All Nighter and I already have a couple of bottles of that, like a full size ones. So I want to finish this one up so then I can move on to the other ones. So um, as of today, um, this is starting at 34 grams. So that's, you know, the whole packaging and everything. But it, I don't think there's that much left in here. So I think I could probably finish this up within a month or so, I'd guess. I'm not really sure. I should probably hold it up to light and figure it out. But yeah, this is going to be my first replacement product. And then the next replacement product is the NARS Light Reflecting set Setting Powder. This is the loose one. I got this as a sample. Um, I will link the website down below where I got it. Um, so I've been using this for my under eye setting powder right now, and I really like it. Um, and since it's a sample, there's not a ton, but also because I'm only using it for my under eyes, I'm not using a ton, you know. But um, that's kind of roughly where I am. It currently weighs 6 grams, and when I got it, it weighed 8 grams. So I have used some up already, um, but it's just a loose powder. I think it's pretty nice. I don't know if I'd get the full size or not, but um, yeah, this is going to be one that I just want to finish up, and I thought this would be a good project for it to be in. Okay, so those are my two new products, and I have three products that I'm still working on. So the first one here is the eyeliner. This is from Laura Geller. It is the Fade to Gray. Um, that's the shade of it, but it's the Ink Incredible Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. I've been using this for a long time. Um, <clears throat> I do have it on my eyes today, and yeah, this is kind of where I'm at. That's all I have left. I do have it marked in my notebook, which I'll show you in a second. So it hasn't dropped any weight. Um, this has been in my project since May 27th, but over the summer I didn't wear a ton of eyeliner. But now that I'm, you know, not at a pool all day, I'm wearing more eyeliner pretty much every day, or at least every day that I wear makeup. So I did make some marks. Um, so they're the first one right here. So this is where I started. Or I'm sorry, this is last update. So that would have been in, what, August? Yeah, that's the last update. Um, yeah, eight five, and then this is today the blue line. So I made some good progress there. Um, I measure it from all the way to the bottom. So this is how much I have left. But I feel like I've made some good progress. Um, so I'm really happy with that. No complaints. 
The, um, the next one is this lip gloss. This is my NYX Butter Gloss, and this is in the shade Vanilla Cream Pie. I don't have it on my lips today. I have my other lip product, but this is the one that lives in my car, and um, that's a swatch of it there. It's just nice, like kind of neutral, medium pink. Very nice. Um, this one has been in my project since June 22nd. Um, it originally weighed 14 grams, and now I'm down to 12 grams. So I'm getting there with this one. I'm not gonna pull the stopper out or anything like that. I don't think it's worth it. I have other lip glosses I wanna get through, but yeah, this is just the one I'm working on, so it's still going strong. And then the last item I have here is one that I added in in August. This is the Bite High Pigment Lip Pencil in Sable. I have this on my lips today, but I have a lip liner under it because it's just a little bit too pinky for me alone right now. Um, and so that's what it looks like right there. It's just a little bit too pinky, but I like it better with the lip liner under it. The lip liner is the Jordana in ta uh, Tawny. It's my favorite. So this is all I have left. Not too much. It wasn't a full size. It's a half size, but um, I feel like I'm doing pretty good on this one. Now that I have that lip liner down and I like the combo of it, I'm wearing it more. Um, <clears throat> so I do have lines for you. So again, this is where it started. And this is where I'm at now. So I only have this much product here. So I feel like I'm doing pretty well on that one. Um, and yeah, so those are the five products. So I have a setting spray, an under eye setting powder, an eyeliner, a lip gloss, and then like a lipstick. So those are the five products I'm using right now. Um, hopefully I will have something finished up by the next update that I do. I'm going to try kind of like monthly. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what project pans you're doing now. I know there's a bunch of probably like new seasonal ones that are, you know, picking up and I'm really excited to see how you guys do about them. I don't think I'm going to do one. At least right now, I don't think I am. Um, I just don't have that many items to like pan. That's why this five pan is like perfect for me. But um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.